Hey everybody, my name is Dylan Scott Gilligan and today we are going to be reviewing um, All Fun and Games, which I believe was on Hulu, I could be wrong, but um, it's on one of the streaming services. <laughs> And it did have one of the actresses for, from Stranger Things in it. Um, the woman who plays Nancy on Stranger Things. So I was like, hey, it's probably not going to be too bad if she's in it. Um, it wasn't a terrible movie. Um, nothing new, really, in my opinion. Um, basically, this little boy like finds this knife and it ends up to be haunted. I think it's a knife. I could be wrong. It's been a while. <laughs> But, um, so he brings it home and then basically, um, with its history, you have to, like, play a game. You have to, like, see it through until the end, basically, and it will take over who's, whoever is in possession of it. So it takes over the little boy, but he doesn't really do anything with it before the older brother kind of gets taken over by it. And then he's, like, the main villain, if you will, throughout the movie, um... So, obviously, it's for mature audiences. People do die in this movie. Um, the first person is the uncle. Oh, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, everybody. Um, so, the uncle's the first one to go, and it's kind of like they play Hangman. So, that was kind of cool. Like, different games, like Tag, uh, Hide and Seek, stuff like that. It has, like, those um, childhood games kind of come into it. And that was cool. I thought that was really cool. Um, and at the point where the uncle was getting killed, like, through Hangman or whatever, I thought that was pretty interesting and kind of creepy and scary. But then there's also, like, subplots. Like, the girl is with this one guy and she's wanting to move out with him. And then you end up, like, finding out that he's, like, seeing this other girl. It was really weird. I don't think they needed to do that because literally most of the characters in this movie die and they're just like slayed but the second game if you will is like hide and seek and this is with um so the older brother eventually comes to like this party that the, his sister's at with the guy she likes and then i think like four other people there's another girl and then i think there's three other dudes could be wrong somewhere in there but then they play hide and seek and at this point, everybody knows that, like, the brother is, has either gone crazy, but really he's being possessed for, possessed by the knife or whatever. So they all play that, um, and everybody but the sister, the little brother, and the sister's friends, like, they all get killed in this game, which I think is where the pacing kind of, for me, wasn't my favorite because, like, majority of the characters were just dead. Um, I didn't hate it. The kills weren't terrible, but it just felt kind of rushed at that point. Okay, so then you have, so the big brother is alive, still possessed. The little brother is alive. The sister, played by the actress who plays Nancy on Stranger Things, is alive, and the sister's friend is alive. So they all go back to the house, and they choose, um, flashlight tag as the game. Um... Where literally, if they put the flashlight on the possessed older brother, he starts to burn, which is intense. So it's kind of like a thing of like, you know, am I trying to burn my brother even though he's possessed? Whatever. Eventually, I think they do burn him enough to the point where he like falls unconscious. Um, but he's not dead or anything. So that's what they do then. And then eventually the sister takes over this kind of entity and she kind of fights back which nobody else has done before she doesn't let him like put the x put an x on her forehead i think which is like an important part of it you have to have an x on your forehead um and before all this this is why my movie reviews are a little off the wall um they're in a cabin and like the spirit of the woman who like cursed this um, knife or whatever explains that her son was like bullied so badly that he ended up, ended up getting killed So she put a curse on this knife. She was they were saying she was a witch. She wasn't yet She became a witch after they killed her son um, Literally just like She's basically saying like they did all this stuff to him through games, whatever beat him up And he still wouldn't die and then eventually he did I think they 
did they burn him? Something like literally terrible. Um, so she created this knife or whatever to get back at them and it did end up killing like all of those kids. So now if somebody finds it, you know, it's a recurring thing or whatever. So that's the only information they have to go on. The big sister somehow fights it off. Um, and then the younger brother's like, hey, I want to play Red Rover or something like that. It's like these games, like you have to play these games. And then he says, Red Rover, Red Rover. He wants the spirit to come over to him. And he stabs the spirit with the haunted knife. And that's kind of like the the end of that. But the older brother does getting end up getting arrested. So, yeah. It, it just didn't have a lot of depth to it, in my opinion. And the, I thought the pacing was a little bit strange. But I still enjoyed it. I gave it a 7 out of 10. So, obviously... I had a fun time with it. I think it's worth a watch. Um, it, th there was nothing technically wrong with it. It just wasn't my favorite. And the pacing was not my favorite as well. But yeah, so that is all fun and games. I believe it's on Hulu if you have Hulu. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments. Have you seen it? Do you enjoy it? And I'll see you next time. Bye. It's me, Ipil. Hope you enjoyed the video. <laughs> Subscribe!